Good morning, folks. We've got top science news. The mercury is falling and yet somehow stands at the top of the article science today. We'll see both coronagraphs too, and that's a great place to start. Let's get going on C3, first showing a sun-diving comet of the Kreutz family heading in, breaking apart on entry. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star was very quiet. That's much more important today than in all the quiet days of recent memory, because when we come to the inner heliosphere at the C2 frame of Soho, there is unquestionably visible ejecta, a wide burst visible coming out. Luckily, Stereo A tells us that, indeed, both the CME and quiet Earth-facing half of the Sun are real. The burst left the opposite side of the Sun from Earth, heading away, so again, that is a CME, heading to the far side of the solar system. The coronal holes on the Earth-facing disk have almost completely turned. We can expect intensified solar wind streams to reach us from them, but they will be moderate at worst. We also await the phi angle shift to 180 degrees for another break higher in seismic magnitude, Activity should be shifting from South America to the West Pacific very soon. Well, it's here, the cold wave. Cold records are falling like crazy already, and it's just getting started. The Rockies and Midwest are under the gun first, but the system will charge eastward, leaving the trail of rewritten history in its wake. Record snowfalls continuing to pile up as well. Up first in the science news, Caltech with a study on earthquake risk in Los Angeles. While they offer long time scales, they also caution that the creep is constantly on the move through the various systems, which may put areas further inland at greater risk in the next event. UCF's Exolith Lab in the news, the focus of the article, Philip Metzger, has been such a pleasure to work with in getting us Mars, Moon, and asteroid samples not only for the conference, but for Billy's Plasma Lab, which did start up its spring runs yesterday with this electric geology terraformation of the Martian clay. There is no equal in terms of getting simulated exolith soils. Interesting article out about long-term climate and environment changes on Earth, recognizing the various cycles longer than the ones we've recently had in focus, including the orbital ones and longer ones up to 2.4 million years. Last but not least, an incredible paper detailing the magnetospheric collapse of Mercury during a powerful CME impact. The sun's side field entirely compresses into the planet, leaving the surface open to electrodynamic forcing and possible discharging. Would be great to look for such evidence on Mercury, but it is dustier than the moon and we don't have on-planet data. The images, even in false color, are a plethora of features to analyze, but for me, I always look for the areas that seem to be a meteor magnet. What, asteroids just prefer this line more than the rest of the surface? I don't think so. Folks, Cat put up a sale for the books at otf.cells.com to celebrate our son's second birthday. We do greatly appreciate your support. It's how we keep all this going. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 3.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.